folks with what they need to do. <laughs> Hello, this is community advocate Harry, traveling shoes, preacher turn. I'm out here in the Marks Village community once again. You know it is Gate City, but it is the Marks Village community here in Birmingham, Alabama. Today is Sunday, and I'm out here with a young lady. You just give me your first name. Simonia. Miss Simonia. Now, Miss Simonia happens to be a resident of Gate City, which means she lives here. Matter of fact, she lives probably 20 feet from the blast that happened on last Tuesday. Miss Simonia, right? Yes, sir. Can you tell us at this point, have you had the cooperation of the city, the housing authority, or what people have tried to help you, or what's the condition of your living arrangements as it stands today? Um, well, the right as of last Tuesday when this event actually happened, um, I was placed in um, a, a hotel okay. until they found us placement. Um, the rent office closed early um, Friday. They're going to be closed all weekend until after Christmas. Their, their last words were to, to me were Merry Christmas. I mean, how can it be Merry when me and my kids okay, don't even have anywhere to Let's stay. slow down and go back. You gave okay. us a whole lot just there. Now, you okay. said it's the night of the blast, okay, Okay. which was uh, last Tuesday, mm -hmm. okay, last Tuesday morning. Okay, um, Tuesday night you had a place that you went and stayed in, right? Yes. Okay, that's a hotel. Now, today is Sunday, and you've been moved from that place to another place? Well, I wasn't moved from that place to another place. Um, just me opening my mouth, networking, just um, having people who who want to help, that are willing to help, um, decided to, um, there were a nonprofit organization, and Alabama Power donated 30000 to them, and they were the ones that actually um, got me housing for the week until the rent office comes back. They're closed until... Now, Thursday. now this is the, the this is the part where we're not understanding. Okay. You have a rent office here in the Marsh Village community, yeah, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you're telling me that the rent office have said Merry Christmas to you after Christmas? That was their last words to me from Miss Hawkins. <laughs> from Miss Hawkins. The last words that they said to me, Merry Christmas, and I mean, I don't understand it. I mean, how can it be Merry when me and my kids don't have any words? They went. When a, a lot of families don't have anywhere to stay, when someone lost their life, and it 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 shows that that even some of our people don't have the heart to 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 take care of us and just try to sweep this situation on the rug and go on with their everyday lives, living comfortable while while we're struggling to find out what we're going to eat. Are we going to blow up while we're asleep? So my thing is, if something needs to be done, we need to come together as a community. A, a community, as a people, as a whole, like they did when they voted for our right to vote. We had we people died for our right to vote. We can make a we can make a difference, a change. If we don't like the situation, we can open our mouths to come together and work ourselves as a community, as a, a people, as a whole. We don't have to settle with what they're giving us or how they're trying to um, treat us because they feel like we're not on the level that they're on. But in tr truly, indeed, we are our mind levels. I said that we're not going to let them sweep this on the road. Now, let me ask you this, then, because there are some people who are calling me and asking me, Harry Travis, Shoes Turner, we want to hear. Um, what can we do? Let me show you, what, what is it that we're asking people to do? Do they need to uh, call your rent office, call your mayor, call your city council, call your state legislators? What is it that you think people can do? Well... First of all, we can come together and, and come up with a plan and pr pray together as a community. The next step would be to contact the 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 legislator and and the mayor's division for the simple fact that uh, this is the city of Birmingham. We stay in Birmingham, and and if one section, one set of people won't take care of us and get us the things we need, we can always go higher. And I know that if 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 we keep going higher, things are going to keep getting done. Right now we settle with, oh, talking to just the people around, um, HABD, American Red Cross, um, but we can talk to people to actually get things done. People are scared to stay out here. I'm scared. My kids are scared. We're going to the doctor to get panic pills, anxiety. We're, we're any loud noise. 
People are scared to stay out here in, in fear of the fact that they may be sleeping. They may be the next victim. So this is not a joke. This is real. This is this is so serious. The, the line that busted, that blew those people, it runs all the way through Gate City. Who's to say that was, wasn't going to be a chain reaction and start blowing up other people's family? We need to stand up. We've been complaining about gas to the rent office and to the and to Alagasco. They were digging in my yard last year. They're digging again this after this event. So my thing is, you all, if y'all want to be safe, you want if you want your children to be safe, come together, stand up for 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 your rights, stand up for our rights. We can make it happen. Now we're actually standing right. Where the explosion taking place, mm -hmm. right, right behind us. Now, I'm seeing people walking around now in the community. Why are these people still here? Because um, <laughs> there's lack of concern. We're black. I mean, that's just. I mean, it's, it's, it's. Most people don't want to hear that, but it's real. We're, we're black. The, the white, the Caucasian lady that was standing out here. She's moved out. She stays in Tuxedo Gardens. The only option that we were given was London Village, Kingston, or Avondale. And honestly, that's just moving us to one bad situation to another. I mean, give us section eight vouchers. We're the city of Birmingham. We had this money. If, if people stop putting it in their pocket and give it back to the people that, that, that vote for them, that get them in these offices, then things will be a lot better. So it's, people need to stop abusing their power and their authority and, and their their money and give it back to the people that actually need it. We're out here suffering, and we don't have to. People, I don't have to make this stuff up. <laughs> you heard it from Miss Amalia, a resident here in this area. I don't think she could have made it any more plain or any more simpler. Get involved. You can call me at 835-9133. Everyone knows me. I'm Harry Trevor Shoes Turner, the local community activist. And stay tuned because the last thing we want is for people to think that it's all over and it's okay and we still have people like Somalia. Yeah, I don't let them sweep it under the rug. Don't let them sweep it under the rug. Miss Somalia, thank you for talking with us thank today. You. We're going to continue to put this information out on YouTube, you. all on social media till it goes up Let to President Obama. Be heard. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. All right, continue to you. pray out here in the Mars Village community.